about uh, temperatures in uh, under load. And so um, I've kind of set up a little test here that I can run really quickly. I've got 3D Mark, and I'm going to run the CPU profiler. And then uh, in the background, I have hardware info running, uh, recording the temperature, and it will tell me what the max temp is as we run this test. So here we go. I'm also streaming this on the same computer, so that might have an effect too, but if anything, that's just going to increase the load. And so we'll, we'll get a better idea of what the temps look like. This test actually takes a little time, so. We'll just wait. But yeah, I did run it before I started casting here. And I saw the temp get up to about 81, um, which seems okay. Uh, as far as I can tell, the maximum temperature on this, on this uh, package is a 95 degrees Celsius. Um, so 81 seems like good. I've seen a lot of comments online, like a debate whether it throttles at 80 or some other temperature. Some people are, are claiming that it does throttle at 80 degrees Celsius, but others are saying that they haven't observed that. And I haven't found a definitive answer to that question yet. So it's running this test. You probably can't see it here. Let me see here. Let me try to. It's still running the, the single threaded test. It should be done any second now. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, there. Just finished that one. So yeah, the cooling setup here isn't ideal, I have to admit, because these are big GPUs, um, take up a lot of space, and um, we're getting the results loading here, and um, it really is hard to keep this system cool under full load. Okay, so here's our results, but you know what? It looks like it's doing. It looks like it's it's doing fine. So. We had, if we run max threads, we got this this score of 15,316. I have no idea what that is in comparison to anything else. I, I could probably compare it online. I might do that here in a sec. Uh, and then we have clock frequency and CPU temperature here. So if we look at CPU temperature, we can see we're kind of like flirting with 80 degrees as we go through this whole test. And at times we've gone for just a moment above 80 to like 85, almost 85. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, you know, and then idle, this thing staying, I think what I've seen is it, it's around 50 degrees. Um, and so that's the answer, I guess, that you wanted. In terms of throttling, our, our clock frequency has basically, if you can see, has just been at max the whole time. It, it's basically stayed at the maximum frequency almost the entire time. There's almost no throttling hap happening, so that's good Good to know. Um, let's see here. And here's like the overall thing. So you can see even when the temperature goes up to 85, like you really don't get much throttling. Like maybe there's a little tiny bit of a dip in the CPU frequency. Let's see what we got. It, it went from like, so maybe it did throttle. It went from like 4,000 to like, uh, down to like, oh, let's see, 3,977. So it, it throttled just a teensy tiny little bit at peak temperature for just a moment there. But otherwise it's basically staying up in that range. And that could, that could even just be that it doesn't need the full frequency, I don't know. It's definitely dipping a tiny bit. But you can see that purple line represents frequency and it's basically pegged up there at the maximum frequency. In fact, it even looks like it's boosting a bit because I think that the, the frequency of this chip is like 3.8 gigahertz. Let's see here. Where is that? Cool frequency. 
boost max is 4,300. And uh, the base clock is 3,500. So it's basically, it's not only is it not throttling, it's actually operating in boost mode. Uh, it's not doing a full boost up to 4,350 megahertz, but it's boosting up to over 4,000 megahertz. It's good to know. Yeah, so there you go. That's the answer to your question. I hope that helps you understand. I'll also, uh, let me just share a little bit with you about the um, setup. I've been moving this around a little bit, but basically you can see that we have um, the two GPUs as far apart as they can be. And in between them, you can kind of see that silver cap, that silver uh, Asus HyperX card. And just below that, in between that and the second GPU down there is a cap Elgato capture card with the four capture uh four capture inputs and so it's down here i don't re it's not really doesn't feel like it's running very hot um you can see the temperature has already kind of come down to like 58 which does seem like a little high but we're running air cooling here i mean maybe if it was water cooling it would go cooler i don't know anyways that's your answer i hope that helps you to make some decisions around how you're going to cool your wrx 80 plus Asus uh, Threadripper Pro setup. And uh, if any, any other questions, let me know. I'd be glad to make another video to try to answer your questions. Okay, thanks.